Welcome, I am Logan here at Boone Mountain Sports. I am here with Riley and Andrew. Hey guys. Hi guys. Um, cheers everybody. Hey, Salute. cheers. We're super excited for tonight's video. We are going into BOA, BOA, BOA. And uh, it's a special episode um, tonight because we actually have all four companies that are coming out with a brand new BOA boot for next year. So we have Atomic, we have Solomon, we have Fisher, and we have K2. So we have a little bit to kind of go through tonight, but we're super excited to get to talk about the, the new new, right? Yeah. So I think what we're going to kind of dive into a little bit is just kind of the fit, a little bit of differences between the two boots and why you should be looking for these boots in the near future. Actually, we have a few here now that we can sell, right? Yeah, we have some early intro product for sure. Um, I think I want to start by debunking some of the things I've been reading um, online about BOA. This is a whole new BOA mechanism. It's not like a snowboard boot. It's not like a cycling shoe. It's not like a Stoko tight. This is a redesigned entirely new mechanism for BOA. And it is unbelievable. Think a freaking powerhouse, man. It's pretty big. Uh, the cable has a tensile strength of over 3,000 pounds. Um, the BOA itself has um, a pretty cool tightening and loosening mechanism, unlike traditional BOA where you have to pop it in order to readjust the tautness of the cable. Um, and best of all, it's bomber. Like you knock this thing off, it's super easy to put back on. Um, We've tried it. Oh, we'll do Quite it a few uh, times. We'll show you a few yeah. different videos of that actually. Happening. We have been there for sure. <laughs> and to go off what you were saying, Riley, when it, when it goes, uh, just to reiterate the fact that it's not a cycling shoe or a snowboard uh, boa that has been breaking, where you have the cable system being about a millimeter, a millimeter and a half wide. This is almost three millimeters wide. So it's, it's beefy. beefy. It definitely, you know, they've taken the R&D to make sure that this is something that might, that is not going to break. Um, you know, the BOA system having it lat when you go tight and to be able to relieve incrementally, little, incrementally release a little bit of that pressure, it goes, it's a millimeter at a time. So you can really dial in where you want. Dial. And then just to kind of, not just to talk about the tech of the BOA itself, but the idea behind BOA and the reason why companies have been testing this for the past five, six years is the closure system of over the top of the foot has been traditional for almost 40 plus years at this point, right? So it's pancaking the foot. Every single time you're in a buckle, when you go down, it just wants to squish the foot this way. And now the bow is going to start wrapping the foot a little bit more consistently. So, you know, people who have had issues with blood flow um, or higher insteps, um, pressure on top of the foot, that's where Bo is going to come in to play. It's a really unique closure system. Um, and obviously these companies are changing where they're anchoring the actual cabling itself to fit different shapes of feet, different volumes of feet, different widths of feet. So some of these boots might work well for others, uh, better for others than other boots for other types of feet. Just um, like any other boot there is out there. Yeah. That's boot fitting. And I yeah. guess the moral of the story is <laughs> go to a shop yeah. and get your foot analyzed to get in the correct boa because they do fit differently. So I guess, uh, Andrew, you put K2 on the table first. I, I did? <laughs> Sick. Let's talk about it. Uh, <laughs> super, super surprised with this boot. Um, I historically haven't been the biggest fan of K2, but they redid their liner. Huge difference. I put my foot in it. This boot actually fits my foot pretty well at a 26.5. It is supposed to be 90, 98 to 96. 98, 98 to 106. <laughs> Sweet. That's kind of where my foot's going to be at. Um, I'm, I'm stoked with like ease of entry. It felt great. Being able to dial this thing in felt better than 
the anthem of the past or mind bender of the past. I'm stoked on it. So that was the first impression for me, waiting to get it out on the hill and kind of ski it. But yeah, first impression was leaps and bounds better. A couple of things about the recon too that they changed. So this is a whole new boot for them. So the recon that you've had prior, um, you can throw that in the trash actually um, and come back and get the new BOA because it is a full reconstructed lower. Um, what they've done both in the men's and the women's, this is the women's line that looks incredibly good, but it's a whole new lug, right? Th throughout the entire bottom um, along that kind of goes up through the chassis into the cup right here. So it actually skis, in our opinion, and what we've had with K2 in the past, is they were been overly a little bit more soft. So, um, you know, your 120 flexes felt like more like 100s, your 130s felt like more like 110s. Like it was just a, it's the, they didn't really flex out incredibly well in our opinion. Um, and the new recon series is pretty true to flex, uh, pretty close actually. So their 130s are 130s, they power ski incredibly well. Um, whole new lower, I think, has really helped with some of that lateral stability. Um, and I've been pretty excited about the, this new recon series. As well as a whole new liner construction. And a whole new it's, liner It's a completely new boot. So K2 um, has the recon series, and they're introducing BOA in the recon series. They also have a new Mindbender series, and they are introducing BOA into their Mindbender. So their Alpine Tour. We do not have it on the wall yet. Um, but these are fully reconstructed boots. Um, one thing about the way that K2 approached BOA was they reduced the footprint of the toe dam, right? So it's a little bit more of a point at the end. So when you close the system, it wraps not only the upper, but it also pulls down the lower to completely reduce the volume and the last of the lower. Some of these other boots. From the top of the forefoot through over the instep. Exactly. So um, K2 does a, they did a really good job um, and it's very effective all the way from the front to the back. Uh, whereas some of the other boots have a little bit larger of a toe dam and might be a little bit more suitable for a wider forefoot rather than K2. But you're gonna um, notice that the, the wrapping of the BOA itself is gonna be a little more asymmetrical in terms of how it tightens, for example. So, I mean, just to kind of throw it out there, yep. if we were to look at the new Fisher in comparison, you'll see that this toe dam is very traditional. And this one has a full diagonal piece that comes this way over the toe, allowing, allowing it to have a little more even travel over the top of the foot where Fisher is not doing so. So you're gonna see that it tightens on the upper half rather than the lower half faster. Um, so more consistency around the entire four foot two instep. This is a little bit more around the instep on the new Fisher. K2 did a really good job with that design. We would agree. Um, they also did a really good job encapsulating the boa itself. So it's gonna protect from um, knocking out the boa a little bit more so than some other ones. Um, yeah, K2, hats off, they did a good job. Uh, this still has its full customization heat, mold, heat molding capabilities. You can absolutely throw this in an oven, cook it to your foot, um, yeah. Well done, K2. On to the next. Yeah, let's do it. You guys want to go with Tom? Yeah, hell yeah. Sure do. <laughs> sure do want to talk about it. So, Atomic coming out with Boa. I think Atomic is like a little bit more focused yeah. than a few of these other brands. I mean, everyone, everyone kind of jumped into this Boa game um, pretty heavy. And I think Atomic is taking a really good approach um, to br bringing this to fruition within, the market. Within, their, yeah, within the market that they have. And they brought it to market with their XTD series. Um, so this is the Atomic Ultra, or Ultra Boa Extended, or XTD, if you will. Um, women's and men's. Uh, so the XTD is gonna have a walk mode. This is gonna be kind of your 50-50 boot. Um, 
This is your traditional extended mold, and it is only in the Ultra series. So Atomic has three different molds in their uh, Hawk series. They have an Ultra, a Prime, and a Magna. The Ultra is the narrowest and lowest volume. Prime kind of sits in the meat of the market, and uh, Magna, you can fit a baby's head in. So it's pretty freaking huge. Uh, and they decided to just go with the Ultra Extended this year um, in a couple different flex patterns. For women, it was the 95 and 115. And for men, it was the 110 and 130. Um, continue. Uh, yes. So going forward with that being the traditional mold, not much has changed in terms of the fit of the Ultra with this, except for now the new closure system. So a couple of different aspects of the Ultra that have always been um, a problem, kind of continue a little bit with the entry of this particular boot, <laughs> right? Performance wise, you're right there with what all the Ultra, what Ultra has been forever. So if you're an Ultra person who has found issues with the, the four buckles um, and height instep um, closure, this is something to explore. Um, the one thing they have yet to truly fix is the entry into an ultra into an ultra fit. Um, getting into the boot is not incredibly easy. Getting out of the boot is not incredibly easy. Um, shirt this, bite. Yeah, a little shirt bait in there. <laughs> um, but overall, with the new closure system, we found a tremendous difference and a little bit more room um, around the top of the foot. So while you're in, while you're inside, a little bit harder to get into. But when you're inside, it becomes pretty roomy um and to have Cush. a little bit more flexibility with the dialing in of your of the top of the foot, <laughs> um it is actually pretty remarkable and after you broke it in it feels like a mid-volume boot so i would go as far as to say that this can fit more feet than than it used to in my opinion i i would 100 percent agree i mean i remember what last year two years ago when we were like skiing this thing i could be in this thing for way longer than any other ultra you know um yeah it's just more accommodating fit it's still that classic ultra getting out of it you're gonna be stoked once you're finally out yeah sometimes uh, just take the whole liner with you uh yeah majority of the time yep um they did redesign the the upper buckles so they are a lot beefier than the old, um, well, this year's 22-23 product. Mm -hmm. um, so beefier buckling system, beefier um, walking mechanism as well. Um, this is massive. Um, it, you're no longer like flailing in the wind, right? It actually has some spring. Um, so I'm a big fan of the new buckling system and they just look so good. I mean, this is the women's look. Really, <laughs> the women's really look just good. looks so good. <laughs> I mean, look at this thing. I mean, if you it's are a librarian, just... <laughs> I mean, I got your boot right here. But no, I'm. I'm. It's not all about color. <laughs> Might not look the best, but it skis outrageous. It skis like a ultra. And they're still maintaining a lot of the coolest features that I liked about this boot. Yep, being able to dial in. Like your your lean, <laughs> uh, I got it again. We did it. Um, <laughs> yeah, being able to like adjust that forward lean, frictionless pivot, the buckles as a boot fitter. Thanks, Atomic. Yep. Super stoked. I don't have to replace these anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's classic Atomic. They're just thinking everything through. Yep. And depending on the flex pattern, your liner that you're getting with these. Ooh. I mean, Mimic, we've talked about Mimic um, a bunch in the past videos. Um, this is one of the coolest liners that's out right now. Um, it's called Mimic. It's completely anatomical. It wraps the ankle bones really well. So both your medial malleolus and your lateral. Um, it's fully customizable, punchable. Um, and you can do a lot to just the liner prior to doing any work to the shell, which makes um, boot fitting really fun. And the tongue. Oh yeah, complete adjustability on the tongue, which is awesome. Um, yeah, if you haven't gotten a Mimic, um, you're slacking. So get yourself 
That's an atomic in general. Right? Yeah. I mean, uh, you can actually slot. just buy the liner third party. You can. So, um, and I will just emphasize a little bit with the XTD, they do have this little section to allow for a little bit easier or articulation. Articulation. So this thing walks really well. Um, so if you're looking for comfort, better four foot hold, um, be able to dial in that four foot hold. It's amazing. It is time to look at the new Atomic Ultra XCD. Boa. 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 Oh, oh man. Damn. Fire. In my opinion, I think this is probably the best looking one. I would what do you guys think? I mean. Oh, without a doubt. I oh. think I think they they killed the aesthetics. Solomon did a really, really, really great job. Um, I, I hate to like be the one that um, that agrees with everyone because I always want <laughs> the opposite. Five five five. Um, <laughs> five, 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 five. <laughs> <laughs> but Solomon did did crush the it. Aesthetics. It they, looks they, they look it looks fantastic. good, except for the one thing that kind of bugs me, especially looking at all the others, is how well protected the BOA system is on pretty much every other one, except for this. It seemed like it was just kind of like slapped on there a little bit. Seems vulnerable, but as we know, it's like you could tow a Subaru with this cable, so it's not like the worst thing. You can just knock it off. And... You know, you knock it off. Ah. Yeah, yeah, beers. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, baby. Oh, bro bro is it broken? Is it broken? Is is it broken? broken? You will want to be this guy in the lift line. That's okay. Little hammer fist. Let's back on. Woohoo! It's not broken. It's not broken. Wow. So you, you catch a baby tree and you feel your boot pretty loose and something bang against your heel. <laughs> Let's just pop it right back on. <laughs> so little demonstration. Terrible. Um, so this is the new Solomon S Pro Supra. We have the 120 and the 105 next year. It comes in a couple different flex patterns. Um, but these boots are awesome. Um, they are going to come out of the box at a hundred millimeter, um, uh, last in a 26, five, obviously they go up incrementally as you increase your length. Um, this is a hundred millimeters at 24, five, um, full customization, uh, just like all the other boots. We can cook them. We can mold them. We can punch them. We can, we can make it fit your foot. We can make it fit your foot. Um, couple things about the Solomon boa that we've noticed the placement of the boa itself has been placed a little bit farther back in comparison to some of the others. So ease of entry and outry is not quite the same as the K2 and or the Fisher. Um, It'd probably be right there on par. Pretty close yep. to the Ultra, yep. the Atomic. Um, so yeah, I, they did that, I'm assuming for a reason, probably for a little bit more heel retention. Um, yep. They do like that concept. It's what it's started in like the Alpha. The alpha yeah. You know? Yeah. So it, this thing holds the ankle back in the heel pocket exceptionally well. Um, once you're in the boot, it's an incredible fit, but you got to work to get to that incredible. Fit. <laughs> yeah. So, but it's worth it. Yeah. If you want, if you want performance and fit, hundred uh, percent. Yeah. If you're getting this boot in a one thirty, you got to take care to keep it warm on your way up to the ski hill, or you're gonna be not very stoked trying to get into this thing. Yeah. <clears throat> I think their one twenty is just the bread and butter, man. Yeah, one twenty is fantastic. It's freaking awesome. It's skis well. Um, it's and, soft and comfy, but yeah. stiff enough where it's going to turn pretty much any ski, which is great. And same with the 105. Um, and we have we have one of our employees actually put on the Solomon um, Women's 105 and the K2 15. Yep. Um, the other day, and she mm -hmm. had, and it was great because she did a good job of like trying both on multiple times, you know. And K2 ended up being a little bit easier to put on, so I'm a little bit harder to put on, but. What about what we're about to talk about is the liner, and that's the a, a major difference between the two. Um, Solomon, Atomic are two companies that spend a lot of money and a lot of time on anatomically making a fantastic liner um, that is going to be better for skiing. Better fitting is better skiing. 
right? Yep. They're using more closed cell materials than K2 and or mm -hmm. Fisher, um, which means it's not going to pack out nearly as quickly and it's easier to customize um, as well as enhance your skier um, skiing experience on the hill. Um, Solomon came out with this liner last year. Andrew, you want to go down the rabbit hole with this thing? I One thing I want to touch on for sure is they're offering an added like benefit to performance in a liner, which is sweet and something that we're not really, other than like fit characteristic, um, we're not really seeing a whole lot of that in liners too much, but you can actually take this entire plastic piece directly out of the tongue, which is nice. What this offers you is when you're flexing forward, it can shift up and down and offers almost like an element of elasticity to it, which they double down on in the strap as well. And I think it just offers such a awesome dynamic feel to the boot. Like it just livens it up it um, quite a bit. And then, yeah, they're just wrapping it a ridiculous amount of time. I don't know if you want to go into that. Mm, no, I'm good on that. No, you're good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right, right, Your local boot fitter is just going to cut it off. That's fine. Might make getting into or it a little bit. If you have, yeah. Or if you have a low volume foot, this is what you love. Yeah. Right. Something that you that's been what you've been wanting a good wrap around the forefoot, a little bit around the instep. You've always been a little bit loose inside boots and losing power. That's where this comes into play. Um, and it has it's it is an amazing feel inside the boot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's funny mm -hmm. because the actual shell of the boot is it's it's pretty voluminous. Right. Yeah. It's it's got some height to it. It's got some width to it. Um, obviously we can make it even bigger. Um, but you know, this does fit a really high end step. So this is a little bit counterintuitive in my opinion with the strap and the shape of the actual. So when boots. as a boot fitter, when we cut <laughs> yeah. this off and you have a high end <laughs> step, you'll have more room inside the ship. It's, I, I like the option of, ha it's better to have and not need it. Right. You know, for the right foot, it kind of doubles down with the boa just wrapping everything and holding it secure. Um, for most feet, you're probably not gonna like that, especially as far as like where circulation is happening in your foot. That's not like the most ideal place to have extra pressure. And I can just cut it out, which is sweet. Um, so we have that option now. We have those options. Yep. As far as, um, we didn't really talk about length of all the boots so far. Mm. Um, like BSL? Yep. And well, BSL and or fit out of the box. Oh, uh, gotcha. You know, we so. talk about both. Yep. So as far as K2 goes, K2 fits very true to length. Yeah. You know, um, a 26 is a true 26. You don't necessarily need to downsize if you measure out to a 26 on a mm -hmm. Solomon Brannock. Um, Atomic. True to length. True to length. Those guys are very, yeah. very, uh, they're on it. Atomic's always on it. Yeah. A little you guys bit are awesome. shorter as BSL goes. So if you've been historically a 26 and you're a 306, you're now a 302. And then in the non BOA ultra fixed cuff, that's 300 now. Yeah. Which is like, <laughs> where did those millimeters go? <laughs> Easy walkability, I think is what they say. Right? Yeah. That's the idea. Yeah. We'll yeah. Sure to. Mm -hmm. um, and then Solomon is going to fit uh, just a tad longer. It's a little bit yeah. longer. They have a deeper heel cut. I mean, yeah. Heel pocket. Yeah. Um, so similar similar length overall BSL, um, but the heel pocket is just slightly deeper. Yeah. Um, so if you do have those extra monkey toes, Solomon might be mm -hmm. the way to go. Um, women, women's wise, the S pro 105, kind of oh. same, same, you come around, the, the line is very similar. Um, and it is, is good looking. It's damn. Damn. What's your name? Damn. All right. <laughs> so out of the boots we've talked about today, with thus far, we have K2, we have Atomic, we have Solomon, you have in the K2 realm is our, our Recon and Anthem. Song is going to be the S Pro. Supra. These, the Supra. Those are going to be our main Alpine BOA systems. And then you get into the Atomic, which is going to have your tech toe. You do have a mind bender coming out next year. Yes, we haven't talked about that, though. 
it's not on the wall. But it is, it will be available. And the last BOA comparison of the year <clears throat> overview, not so much comparison, um, is going to be the new RC4 Fisher BOA mid volume. Mid How many? What was that? Is it mid volume? RC MV 130 BOA. How's that for your acronym? What does BOA stand for? You don't know. <laughs> Everyone knows. We that. talked about this last week. Everybody knows. Comment below what you think. What does BOA stand for? I can't wait to read the comments. <laughs> um, yeah, let's let's talk about mid volume, perhaps. <sighs> Nah, they yeah. kind of make it up in the boa a little <laughs> bit. You put this thing on loose and you're like, I'm swimming right now. Um, I loved it. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> it was for those was who like for me. Yeah. Um, for those you who have a higher volume foot. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Fish, fishing might be your game. Yep. That was 100%. sweet. Yeah. Uh, but not. Hence Andrew. <laughs> yeah. True to flex, I would say, as far as like everything we've kind of talked about maybe is slightly softer but it could be a little bit in that liner that we're losing yeah. a little performance but yeah i put my foot in and i was like immediately comfy so i'm like this probably isn't a mid volume boot i mean it still is fisher's plastic which is it's an rc yes yeah. it's, it's gonna ski well it's gonna I mean, the flex it's, it does great. it does yeah. it's just it's just it fits it fits big it's like that four foot is Massive. It's huge. So you have a wider forefoot. You've had issues with you know, the top of your foot, the width of your feet, like this, the, this, the, this the height of your foot. Yeah, this you know, will be a solution for you. Um, it's exactly. also a heat multiple plastic, for, which is awesome. Which is yeah. great. Overall, this is the most voluminous out. fit that we have. It's the easiest in and out that we've talked about. Um, they come in two different styles right now. We have the current one in front of us is just the MV, which is this, their standard. They also have a pro that is coming out with a carbon fiber cuff along with a zip fit liner. Um, so that changes the whole game of the boot entirely. Um, it's not very easy to get into. No. <laughs> <laughs> that one goes back into the realm. Yeah, I was going to say. Else. Solid Here, realm there. But it's a zip fit liner, so it allows, <clears throat> it's a lot of performance oriented situations with that liner. Um, and with the carbon fiber cuff, it it, uh, it lightens it, but also stiffens it slightly. The Fisher boot, it's skied great. Yeah. Fucking skied great. Yeah. I think my biggest complaint is the liner of this guy yeah it's yep. it's pretty thin um that's gonna be the main thing that that you guys might find kind of classic liner from fisher. from fisher you know it's nothing really to write home about it looks good but it's looks are deceiving yeah i think it's a boot like i was in it for a few runs and it was amazing for those few runs but i think if i actually lived with this boot the liner would get very old very quickly and it would be the first weak link that's going on there. Yep. That's where zip fit does come in. That's where zip yeah. fit comes yeah. in. You're getting something like that, a little more customizable, a little bit more long lasting, warmer. Um, there's a lot of pros with going with the pro. Look at you, look at you go. Damn, bro. Um, so, <clears throat> Fisher, more voluminous. They have a, what they've done here. We talked a little bit about the closure system and the toe dam. Um, I think what was, I found to be interesting was that when K2 decided to redesign and um, Tom and Tom had decided to redesign, that their toe dam is what changed. Fishers mm -hmm. did not change. Yep. So this is the same toe dam that is in their, in their current RC4 right now. And that's why I think that there's a slight little bit difference in terms of how the closure system works. All right. so. Real quick, we're gonna go into all of our aspects of what boot for what type of skier, right? Was that the question, Riley? Yeah. All right, what type of boot for type of skier, right? Well, and or um, fit characteristics. Fit characteristics for, for what foot? That's what I would, that's my question. Okay. Like, why would I buy an Atomic over a Solomon? Why would I buy a K2 <laughs> over an Atomic? All right, so this also just comes down to going to the right person to put you in the right boot. Yes. Okay, 100%. So 
what Riley's asking of us, why we be doing it all kind of depends on what your foot looks like and what you're skiing as a skier. And if you are not getting asked those questions, then don't buy a boot from that person, period. Um, like these are all going to be slightly different. These are different boots for different people and what they're skiing. And okay. different foot shapes. So yep. automatically we went into the concept of the 5050 boot from Atomic, which is the Ultra. Um, this is the 120. This has a walk mode with pins. Okay. This is going to be a narrow boot for narrower feet, for more, less volumed feet. All right. I would say like also elite level skier that also wants to hike or tour. Elite one level boot skier. to do it all, yeah. maybe travel with. Yeah, good travel boot. One yeah. boot to do it all as an elite skier, you're going to be looking at this Ultra XTD 130. When we get into the Fisher MV 130, this is going to be also, I would say, an elite skier. This is a 130 flex and a true flex that is going to power ski incredibly well, but this is very voluminous. So if you have a bigger foot and you know that you've had issues in ski boots in general, this could be a fit solution for you. Plug and play. Kind of just get in it. Or an elite skiing boot fitter <laughs> that who has a voluminous <laughs> foot who doesn't want to work on his boot. That's awesome. That's a great boot for that, for that person. K2 130. K2 130. <laughs> uh, recon. This is going to be your front side skier who just wants the latest and greatest in tech. Um, as well as good looking, yeah, free riding. Free ride. Ski Anybody boot. that's had a recon in the past. Just get this. Just get, just get. Yeah, it. it's it it's way easy. better, hundred percent. Yeah, that's who wants the K two. Um, Solomon, I think, is a very versatile boot, in my opinion. I think that we're gonna, go. we're going to be able to get this onto many different people. Um, I think they're going to have to get over the in to get the in part. The yeah, out part's not nearly as bad, but the in part is going to be something. But I feel like the fit characteristics of this particular boot is going to hit that, especially in this one twenty market, is going to hit a vast majority of skiers out there. So, it's all in 120. Yeah. Um, and this is actually available here at Boom on Sports today. So, come check it out. Women's Atomic. This is the 105? 115. 115. This is 115. Yeah, bro. All right. This is your elite woman. Or just a skier who wants more performance out of the boot in general. This is going to have your walk mode with your pins. This is the one boot. Do it all. Have a great time. A little bit lighter weight. Good fit. But is the ultra, so the in and out a little bit more difficult, but overall fit is going to be great. So you're going to have that a little bit more elite skier about the down, a little bit about the up, majority about the down. I'm going to go with the exact same thing as I said for the men's, for the women's 115 as well. This is just, you want a good looking boot that skis a little bit of everything. Good front side boot. And you're going to absolutely love it. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Great great does a little bit of everything. Yeah. Yep. Fits great. And Solomon 105. Solomon 105 Pro. I think this is one of the best looking boots on our wall. I'm super excited to see how this goes. We've actually sold a couple thus far, which I'm incredibly pumped about. Um, this is going to hit a big majority of, of, of women out if, there. If I were to hear you correctly, put these on side by side. Bigger foot. <laughs> no. That sits by its foot. By yeah. itself. Same thing. Yeah. Side Put by this. side. All side by just, side. This is just a little bit more of that. Aggressive. Yeah. yeah. Aggressive, if you have the, but also you have like, more like that, specific. This is know. a specific boot. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I this, agree. this wants to go potentially hike places. Right. Or have lock mounts. And yep. the idea of like having this and the men's as like a travel boot. If you're an advanced level skier and you're going to like Japan or something, you may want a tour. These are the, this is the boot you're taking. Yeah. <clears throat> no question about it. So is BOA for everyone? In my opinion. Could, could be. It could be. It could be. It has the potential. Yep. This is all new. This is new for us. That is going to be new for all of you. Yep. We're excited about it. It does ski really well and it's these, shaking up the industry which these, is really exciting these companies have done a great job with their r d um, we've been very fortunate to actually ski these boots for a couple of years now um, and so we're drinking the kool-aid a little bit and we're going to be offering this stuff for a lot of you guys to check out because it is it's revolutionary in the boot world this is the first major shift 
of uh, technology in, Dude, in 10 years. Yeah. You know, like we've had liner, liner changes and plastic changes and buckle changes and lock Apex. modes. Apex, bro. <laughs> and snowboard boots into the external this. Oh, come on. These guys are really like, all of these brands are really just cranking it a little bit further. Dude, just <laughs> They're stop. just ass, ew. <laughs> <laughs> Let's crank it up to 11 or <laughs> four. Whatever it says on your boot. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It'll be sweet. Just <clears throat> dial it back a little bit. Yeah. Just I'll, a few clicks. Just a couple clicks? Yeah, just a couple clicks. Or we can go tighter. Uh, In my opinion, you know, for people who are, you know, traditional boot people who are looking for like the highest performing, the best skiing. What's your opinion? Go to a race boot. Get <laughs> yeah. Get a race boot and a really good <laughs> boot fitter and you're going to be just as happy. You're gonna be I think stoked. as far as like the ex like expert level recreational skier, like these boots offer something that like we haven't seen in the ski industry for a while. Like the idea of your boot not going like that, but going like that is awesome. It's really cool. And as far as like, I don't know, from like an anatomy point of view, like I'm gonna be, if you come into Boone Mountain Sports, I'm gonna talk about this all the time, but having like less pressure over here where you want your foot to be held is amazing. You know, just allowing for greater blood flow, and better gonna, skiing, better sensation. It, yeah, well, it's going to help all, with like the warmth of your foot, you every, know, the yeah. cramping of your feet, things that happen that you just always that makes skiing harder to mm -hmm. ski all day with. That's the idea of Boa, and I feel like that's a, a massive thing to have an opportunity to try and to buy to make your day that much better on the hill. Yeah, um, and longer. And that's really that's where it comes down to, you know. Um, and we, we've always preached that, you know, better fitting and happy feeders, happy skiing. Yeah. Like, and that's, a, that's what this, that's what the, that's what everyone who's produced these boots wants for everybody. And as boot fitters, we constantly want more comfort, but good performance. Yeah. And that you're not lacking performance wise with both, in my opinion. Um, mm -hmm. Is it your excelled concept of race? We don't know yet. Yeah. Um, that is, that is, that is up for Upper, man, we don't know. Yeah, time, <laughs> I don't know where Bo is going to go. We're going to find out. Uh, but in terms of free ride, these things they're awesome. Yeah, they rally. Like we have great days on these things. Um, now we're also one of those people that really want a stiff boot sometimes. So we've kind of catered towards a little more of a buckle because we're very traditionalist. And then we've also found like the absolute amazing parts of Bo. Um, and there's there's room for both, but in the free ride world. I think Boa is going to be... It's worth putting on your foot. It's worth feeling the dial. It's for, for people who are skeptical about this new technology. Try I would it. Say, try it. Try it try before it. you knock it. Try it before yeah. you knock it. Come in, throw it on. Honestly, side by side with a buckle versus a boa. Huh. It's... Yeah. With, with a beer in hand. That's why you got to come to Boone Mountain Sports. Quality is the difference. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. oh. I love it. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. a perfect way to see it. Yeah. Cheers, boys. Cheers, cheers you guys. guys. Yep. Come cheers. check out Boa. And here's the, here's the next year, I guess, huh? Here's the next year.